This universe is way more complex and beautiful than what we modern humans imagine it to be. It is the conventional belief that the human civilization is moving towards discovering the real secrets of the cosmos through its thousands of years of evolution. Theories from the likes of Isaac Newton and Albert Einstein have completely changed how we look at the universe and its mechanism. But what if I tell you that there existed an ancient culture thousands of years ago, which was ahead of our modern science in finding out the mind-bending truths about the universe? Today, I am going to tell you about a very intriguing story described in the Bhagavata Puran, an ancient Hindu text in which Krishna, who is believed to be the incarnation of the supreme soul of the universe, reveals a mind-bending secret. There is a unique concept in Hindu philosophy known as the avatar. An avatar is a conscious manifestation of the supreme being on the physical plane. In the Vaishnava tradition of Hindu culture, Lord Vishnu is worshipped as the Supreme Soul. He takes incarnation on this planet when order and righteousness is disturbed and chaos and evil begin to take power. Krishna is the eighth incarnation of Lord Vishnu. The difference between a completely enlightened person and an avatar is that the avatar is conscious of his divine purpose on this planet from the very beginning, while an ordinary person has to practice various spiritual techniques to raise his consciousness to the highest level. Krishna is probably the most famous incarnation in all the Hindu pantheon. In Hindu cosmology, Brahma is the creator of this material universe, and he resides in a higher dimension called Brahma Loka. One of the first surprising things mentioned in the Bhagavata Purana is that time runs with different speeds on different dimensions in the universe. For example, it is written that one day of Brahma is equal to 4.3 billion years on planet Earth, and the night of Brahma is also of equal duration. The life of Brahma is finite, and he also grows old and dies. Then another Brahma is appointed in his place, but there are other dimensions higher than the Brahma Loka, and even Brahma cannot access those dimensions. The highest of all being is the Supreme Being, above whom there exists nothing. Everything happens according to his divine will. So, when the Supreme Being took birth on this physical plane, even Brahma was not sure it was him. He thought that Krishna was just an ordinary human being, who enchanted everyone with illusions and deception. So, to test Krishna, one day Brahma kidnapped all of his friends while they were playing in Vrindavan, the place where Krishna spent his childhood. Krishna knew what was happening and immediately replicated himself and turned each one into his friends. So, to the people of Vrindavan, everything seemed normal. After a while, when Brahma returned to see what was happening, he was shocked to find that all of Krishna's friends were playing with him. He could not understand how was that possible. So, he went directly to Krishna and asked him how he did it. At that moment, Krishna revealed something which completely changed Brahma's mind. At that moment, he understood that Krishna was none other than the Supreme Being himself. Krishna said to him that he was aware of his whole plan. He didn't do anything about it because he wanted him to show the truth himself. And the first thing Krishna said to Brahma was that he was not the only Brahma in the universe. Brahma was taken aback after hearing this statement. He said to Krishna that it could not be true, that he created this whole universe, and there is no one equal to him. Then Krishna revealed that this is not the only universe. There exist countless number of universes, each with their own Brahmas. Each universe is floating in the great cosmic ocean, and this universe is just a bubble in that vast ocean. In fact, this concept of our universe can be found depicted in ancient Hindu arts. Look at this picture. Each bubble in this image represents a universe, and the Supreme Being is depicted as Mahavishnu, who is in his divine meditation. This is such a wonderful depiction of cosmology which cannot be found anywhere else in the world. When the world was living in caves, the ancient Indians were talking about multiple universes and time dilation. It is quite surprising to see that the mainstream historians and researchers have not given them due credit for these exceptional discoveries. We hope to bring these amazing truths to light so that everyone could appreciate how advanced and beautiful the ancient cultures of the world were. You can support us in this endeavor by liking this video and sharing it with your friends. Thanks for watching.